Hi, I'm Chuck Callahan. We're at Purdue University. And I'm Margaret Sass, and we are discussing teaching tip learning outcome number four. And we just discussed SLOs before, right Chuck? Well, we talked about specific learning objectives. And today we're going to look at how a specific learning objective is basically is made up of three parts. It has three required parts. You have an objective, you have an activity, you have an assessment. How do we define uh, these three parts? Well, first of all, the objective is what students can do as a result of learning. The second component of an SLO is the activity. This is what students do to practice or to eventually achieve the learning objective. Mm -hmm. And finally, the third required part is the assessment which evaluates whether you know students are successful in learning what you want them to learn. And assessment is really important here at Purdue, isn't it? Yes, it is. Uh, we want students to be able to uh, understand exactly what the objective is in a particular activity, and we want them to know exactly how they're going to be evaluated. So when you're presenting this information to students, it's very important that you very clearly give it to them in this order. Explain to them the objective, what they will be able to do after that they have uh, completed this level of learning or succeeded in this learning. Explain to them the activity that they'll practice, perform, that they'll produce uh, in the process of learning uh, this information or skill. And then finally, how you will assess them, how you will evaluate them, uh, the grade you will give them, the points you will give them, and the rubric you will use to evaluate them. Now you can develop uh, your specific learning objective in any order when you're designing it. You can start with an activity, you can start uh, with the assessment, you have a particular activity you really, really like, that's where you can start and from there uh, decide what the objective is and how you're going to uh, assess it or what activity you're going to use. So in designing an SLO you can use any of the three components in any order as a starting point. But again, when explaining to students you want to explain it to them with the objective first, then the activity, then the assessment. So when you are saying presenting, you mean that I should be showing that on my syllabus? Yes, you should have in your syllabus, even down to the specific learning objectives of what students are going to be doing for each assignment. Great. So for more information, please visit our website. And we'll see you next time.